It seems DJI is spitting out a lot of new stuff here lately, supporting the newer drones, the DJI Mini 2, and uh, also the uh, Mavic Air 2. And a lot of you are asking, isn't there anything new or anything in it for us original Mavic Mini owners? And there actually is. Okay, welcome to another video that's recorded more or less from inside my house. Um, I'm Henry Goldson, and if you want to learn more about uh, drones and cameras in general, then consider subscribing to my weekly tips, tests and tutorials. The weather is pretty unusual here. It's very rare that we have snow. In these parts of Denmark. It was at some point very common that we had it. But for the last couple of years, we haven't seen much snow here around where I live. If you remember in uh, the previous version of the software, you, uh, you had like a flight indicator telling you the relative position of uh, the drone compared to the remote in the bottom center of uh, the screen. It was showing like a marker, but most of the time, at least in my case, this was red and was deactivated and uh, I couldn't use it for much. But with the new DJI Fly App 112, you're getting a new attitude indicator or compass indicator. Of course, that's also available for the Mavic Air 2 and the DJI Mini 2, but you will also get access to that if you decide to upgrade from the previous version, the 121. And if you are currently on an iOS device, this will happen automatically if you have automatic app updates enabled. But if you are on Android, you need to go to the DJI website under the download section and find the APK and then install that separately. So this is the way going forward to get the new DJI Fly App 112. And once that is installed, you will see that here in the bottom you have the map. And uh, there's no news in that. But in the lower right corner, there's a small icon. And if you press that, that will activate the new attitude indicator. And that contains a lot of information that, uh, if you interpret it correctly, can be very useful when you are flying. So let's just take a closer look at it. You can see that uh, right now that's kind of a compass. Uh, it says north. So if I turn the drone, you can see that the, the indicator showing where north is will be indicated on the graphics. So let's just put it out here so we don't like this so you're basically pointing almost south as it is right now as you can see on the graphics there are certain graphical elements uh, represented and one of them is a triangle and that is basically the drone where the tip of the triangle indicates uh, the the forward direction of the drone there's also an orange H that is uh, the home takeoff position if I go up here if I can and walk a little bit this way, you would see that whoo, it's almost caught in this one. You can see that the blue dot is moving in front of me, and this is because that's the relative position of uh, the remote control. So you have these three informations uh, here. You have uh, the home takeoff point by the orange H. You have the blue dot that shows uh, the controller's position, and now I'm slipping over this again. Oh shit. <laughs> and you have the drone orientation. And uh, if I turn the drone, you will see that the triangle stays in position, but the north indicator that will move relatively to the position of the drone. What do you think? Is DJI abandoning uh, the Mavic Mini and not supporting it with new features going forward? Let me know what you think in the comment below. Another nice detail that you can see is these two lines on each side of the drone. Those are basically an artificial horizon compared to the angle of the drone. So if I fly forward, you will see that these two lines go above the drone icon, indicating that the drone is tipping downwards when it's flying forward. And normally you can't see that because uh, the camera through the camera because that one is stabilized so that will show a flat horizon all the time but this actually shows 
how the drone is actually oriented when you fly it forward. So if you see like this, and of course you know when you fly it fast forward, it, the drone will tip, and this means that the lines will go above. And the same happens if I go fast backwards, it will go behind the drone. The system is the same when you're going over the side. You see, if I roll the drone to each side, like this, you can see the lines they are following. Then you will probably ask, how can that be useful for me? And that's basically, if you're flying in very, very high wind, you might be able to see that the drone is being pushed to one side while it's struggling keeping the, the gimbal level. So that will give you a nice indication of the physical position of the drone. Or the, or. So this was a short demonstration of the new attitude uh, indicator that is currently available if you decide to upgrade to the new DJI Fly App 112. And you will benefit from this from all three drones, uh, the Mavic Mini, the DJI Mini 2 and the Mavic Air 2. What do you think about this new uh, way of doing it? It's actually not new. It's uh, moved from the, the previous app that we used for drones like the Mavic 2 Pro, the Phantom 4, the DJI Go 4 app. It's the same indicator that's being used in there that they just ported uh, to the DJI Fly app. What do you think about it compared to the previous version? Do you find any value in this? Let me know in the comment section below. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then feel free to give it a like. If you didn't like it, feel free to press the dislike button twice. Thank you for watching and I'll be seeing you around.